Hey you guys, hope you guys are doing well. Uh, it is November 23rd today. I'm going to do a quick video on my setup. I know all of my videos have been really fragmented in terms of I have a bunch of videos on uh, how to repad uh, GPUs. I got videos on the grow tent. I got videos a lot of how to whether it's setting up uh, Raptorium miner, uh, CPU miners or just video on on setting up uh, wireless remote control if you're on Windows 10 Pro. Now for this particular video, I'm going to consolidate all of it together. I'm going to link it together and show you how I'm running my current setup. And so for, from my perspective, the reason why I wanted to make this video is when I started mining a year ago, I, have, I had no experience in softwares or hardwares when it comes to computer. My background is purely in corporate finance. Uh, so when I when I got into mining, it, it was really scary for me at first, right? Investing tens of thousands into mining gears, mining equipment. So on top of that, they were not as efficient as I wanted them or thought they were going to be. And then I was scared to even take them apart, the graphic card apart, to repaint them. That was one of the mistakes I made. You know, and there some people say you void the warranty. Some people say you don't if you take them apart. It was just, I didn't know what was what, right? There's no, usually when it comes to crypto, it's so new. There's no general consensus. Uh, I just want to give you from my personal perspective. Now, these are not financial advice. They're only my opinion. Uh, and I'll add on from based on my experience, what works for me and what doesn't. Okay. Uh, so the key theme of this is a setup for me. Uh, and it still works now, a, a setup that it, it's like plug and play, it's turnkey. I literally bought the equipment, I plugged them in, I started mining. Eight, nine months later, I broke even, so now I'm just experimenting, right? Now, we know that Ethereum is going over to 2.0 uh, sometimes next summer. So we have about seven, eight months left. Some of the machines out there, I, I personally believe um, an individual may still be able to break even. Uh, even within those eight months if Ethereum continues to go up. And on top of that, you can always flip over to altcoins if you want to farm those. So there are still opportunities. I personally uh, would buy more. The only problem is I live in a pretty small condo, and I'm running 50 amps right now. 50 out of my breaker box is 125. And between my dry, I either can't wash my, cl I can't dry my clothes, I can't cook, or I can't run the fridge. I got to give some of those up if I want to expand my operation. But I'll show you my setup, and hopefully, um, if you have any questions, drop it down below. I know some of you are on, you're mining directly to your wallet, you're mining to uh, Hive OS, but for us beginners uh, that just want to plug and play, right, uh, this video is, is for you guys. So here we go, let's get started. I'm going to minimize this. Uh, some of the stuff I'll cover in this video uh, will be how to set up the grow tent. There's a video here in all of the repads. Uh, just make sure that uh, if you have any question, watch these, ask me. Because in order for me to run what I'm currently running right now, I had to repad all of my all of my graphic cards, the 3080s, the 3090s, put them in this tent, uh, and then run them on uh, nice hash, right? Uh, in order for them to run properly on nice hash uh, without maintenance without monitoring I had to repat them all right and then there will also be like I said repat videos right here and then there's an important video right here how to remote access I'll also add this to there'll be like cards inside the video as we go along I'll drop the little card so you can click the cards and uh, and see where we're at right or jump to those videos so when I when I got my computers I bought most of my computers uh, I found really good deals I bought from Dell and from HP directly. Uh, I also showed you guys that over uh, one of these videos right here. This one, best CPU and GPU. Um, please watch this video if you haven't already. It's actually many times it's cheaper just to buy pre-built than it is to build your own. Okay. And I, I in this one, I compared it about a week ago. How much, It was like 30% cheaper to, to buy directly during uh, sales for, uh, directly from HP. I bought computers and then I um, I linked them up through uh, I went through nice hash and I started mining uh, so this is nice hash a little overview of nice hash how nice hash works is they're the mediator okay they're like the broker if you think about a a, a broker a stock broker uh, back in the days e trade Scott trade Ameritrade Fidelity uh, right uh, Charles 
all of those guys, they mediate between a seller and a buyer, a transaction, whether it's stocks, option, uh, whatever it is. Nice hash does the same thing. It starts with the buyer. Buyer creates the order and pays for the rented hash power. Nice hash mediates. Miner gets paid for providing hash power. So we're actually not picking what we're mining. We're not mining. We're, we're selling our hash power so the buyers can hash, right? And then miners provide the hash power. So we get paid for the hash power. We provide the hash power. And then nice hash sends rented hash power to a pool. And that pools pays out the reward and the word goes to the buyer and the buyers it's a cycle right then the buyer takes that money bit more so on nice hash side it's this right here hash power marketplace they can bid for the for the hashes and then it goes through the cycle again okay so that's literally what nice hash does now when we get to nice hash uh, i'll just go over it uh, you start with the dashboard. What I always do on all of my computers is I turn on dark theme. I look at computers so much. Dark themes help um, relax my eyes. So dark theme. Now what you're seeing here is an overview of the miners. Uh, but we'll actually come back to this last because after the setup. So you'd go into mining. And under mining, under this view, there are a couple of items. There's the... Uh, mining address so you're gonna need this particular address this is where you mine where your payout goes through right you're selling your hash power and the broker and the buyer pays the pays you through nice hash through the brokers through the mediator they pay them Bitcoin and you receive Bitcoin for instance I have nine dollars of unpaid Bitcoin right now in my wallet I have a hundred thirty five dollars and currently I mine about $69.63 per day on my GPUs. If they pay you and that's, so just remember, this is the address you're gonna need to receive that payout. Next, over here, there's, uh, so down here, there's the rig management. You can see all your rigs. We'll go into it a bit later in more detail. And then there's the history. Uh, you can see how much you've hashed. You can see graphs of it, six hours, one day, one week. And then you can also export, right? So you can export uh, in different format. So that's the export, and then there should be all algorithm. Um, one second. So right here, export by day. You can group it by day, right, if you want to do that type of export. Uh, you can export all the way from year to date as well. So show more. Let me see. So once you do show more, you can do an export, and you can customize what you want, right? Uh, mining, deposit, withdrawals, or you can do all of it. Currency, it's only Bitcoin your fiat and then you can do the date from to so that's how you extract your data right so we'll go back to mining again you can buy and sell I don't use buy or sell I literally just mine Bitcoin or sorry I mine it there I sell my uh, hashing power so buyers can mine ethereum I get paid in Bitcoin and then I move my Bitcoin over to coinbase right away my exchange and then exchange uh, we don't even use exchange okay so for exchange, just ignore it. I don't use it. And actually, if you live in the U.S., you can't exchange. And then there's the uh, hash power market, as I said. So we'll go all the way back to the dashboard. The reason why I use NiceHash is it's very uh, user-friendly. They charge a 2% fee. I believe that was months ago. I don't know if they've lowered or increased. You get all of your views right here. You get your rigs viewed. You can consolidate them into groups. Or you can leave them as rigs and you can set them. There are different settings right here. When you go under more, each one of your miners, there were presetting light, medium, high, extreme. All of mine, mine set medium, except for this one right now. The reason why is I set it to light because it's a computer right here by me. So the fan would uh, decrease so you can hear me. I can see all of my temperature, the graphic card temperature, as well as the VRAM. Uh, I can see the memory load, the fan speed and the power consumption, right? So all of these are 3080s, and as you can see, they are mining higher than normal. Usually 3080s mine at 90. All of mine are running medium, so 95. And my 3090s, I run them at medium to 115. All right, this one, like I said, I have it on light, so the fan isn't at 100%. Now up here, I have AMD cards. These AMD cards are mining 50, 50 uh, 7XC, they're running 50 hashes. Uh, they are mining on a different, so there are two types. When you start mining, you go under mining, 
right? and then you download and then there if you're running AMD you have to download NiceHash Miner it's a different miner and if you're mining NVIDIA I highly recommend if you're using NVIDIA I highly recommend this NiceHash Quick Miner because what that does is with the NiceHash Quick Miner you can see the VRAM temp right it reports all of the temp right here and there are mobile there's a mobile app for it as well so when I'm traveling for a week or two at a time I can open up my mobile app and I can close it out if I need to and I can open it um, if I need to sorry I can shut down a miner or I can decrease increase depending on the temperature as far as remote control uh, I have all of them linked up so I'll drop down in the corner how to remote control if you're using Windows 10 Pro I have a video for that uh, I literally have all of mine connected here so I'm going to show you one of my 57 XT this 01 um, this one is running on nice hash miner I'm gonna open it and then it's gonna log in and as you can see this is my nice hash miner right it's running the fan is at 29 it's on auto fan depending on how hot it gets on 29 which is very low I've I haven't seen these are some of my best cards right here and down here the CPU uh, this is a Ryzen 5 3500X it's mining it's currently mining RTM right now so that leads us to another question. A lot of you guys ask me, uh, why am I not on Hive OS, right? The reason why I'm not on Hive OS is, as you can see, I have seven rigs right here, just GPU rigs. And I can't consolidate them, and I don't want to, because there, a lot of them are actually GPU and CPU mining at the same time. If I jump to Hive OS, that's $7, 7 times 3 without counting my other CPU, but $3 per month. That's $21, that's $252 a year. It may not be a lot for you guys, but $250 is a lot for me. I have a system that currently works. I've had them on for months at a time without restarting. I'll restart once in a while, but there's nothing wrong with it. So I mean, why why change and pay $250 if I can run medium? To be honest, I think most of you guys aren't even getting 96 hash on your 3080s. This is working if, if, it's, if it's not broken, don't fix it especially when the alternative costs you 100 250 okay there's ethernet uh we'll jump to another topic there's ethernet and wi-fi a lot of people say ethernet so you don't lose so you don't get rejected i don't know i run wi-fi and i'm fine with that as well this one so i can click it and it'll give me more details so on the bottom right here, you see rejected all type of rejections right rejection sale targeted duplicate others and as you can see even with Wi-Fi and I, I know when you guys are running um, Ethernet you get some uh, rejections as well maybe not as much but my rejection rates are so low uh, currently if I'm mining $32 a day $32 and my rejection rate is 0.24 of a percent that means I'm losing 7.88 cents a day right now if you think about that it's eight cents a day for me to switch over to Ethernet I'm paying for the Ethernet cords and there's cords everywhere so for me that's not applicable so when you guys set it up do what makes sense for you okay um, for me that doesn't make any sense to save eight cents a day and to have a bunch of wires running around on top of that I gotta pay for the wires no so that's why I run Wi-Fi that's another question if you guys are wondering now if you're getting a lot of rejection if your rejection rate is much higher and your Ethernet isn't then maybe you should swap over right case dependent if there's anything in particular you guys want to see let me know the other thing is as I mentioned I can connect to all of my rigs right here I can see the temp so I can just swap them and switch them like this whole rig as you can see it's running very efficient I can just do it on my phone or on here I can switch them all to light and then they'll all switch over to light and then I can literally hear the fan slow down already uh, you guys probably can uh, but I can hear the fan slowing down it's a bit quieter in my room and then when you refresh, you can see the temp drop. See 92, 92, all the fans are down to 75. It will actually drop even further in a bit. Here, let's do a refresh. It should drop by now. Yep, as you can see, 89, 89, the fans are dropping, the temps are dropping down. So most people are actually getting this rate. They're getting 90s on their 3080s. Um, as you can see, so I have some leeway. I have some room. If it does, if my place heats up when I'm traveling, I can always swap them to light and it would run it will continue to cool down but like I said in order to get all of this to work guys you gotta you gotta repat right now I have a lot of repat 
videos for you guys right here, repatting graphic cards, all the 3080s, the 3090s. Uh, they're very similar. If you watch all of them, you're going to see there are certain trims with repatting. Uh, for instance, the copper plate, a lot of them aren't repatted. you gotta pat, you got to pat those. A lot of them aren't padded. Uh, where to put thermal paste. Sometimes there are places where there isn't thermal paste that there needs to be or should have thermal paste. I covered it in all these videos, and that's how I'm able to set this up. If you have any question, please uh, drop it down below. Let me know if you want me to expand on anything else. This is it, guys. This is what I currently run. And like I said, oh, last thing, right? So $135. I should get in 41 minutes. I'll get another $10. But just for now, we'll go to Miner. I believe I can click this. And then there's, let me go up to 100% so you can see it. So I can withdraw it right away. I only have one address, which is my Bitcoin address right here. Uh, my Bitcoin address for Coinbase and then I always hit max and as you can see the fee is very minimal uh, only 29 cents to withdraw and it's pretty much a flat fee you can withdraw more than that confirm that's it and then on Coinbase uh, within 30 minutes I'll I'll see my my balance on there and I can move it around yeah guys if you have any questions like I said drop it down below I hope you guys found this video helpful if you guys want me to make more videos on nice hash let me know as well this is my setup uh, everyone sets it up differently, so there's no right way or wrong way. There are certain things that you should do, uh, you should not do, but no right way or wrong way, right? Uh, mining is sometimes is an art. It's not. It's not always a science. So, uh, have a good have a good day, everyone. Take